So he's buffing out the uh, the paint right now. Yeah, this part has like three different three coats of spare coat on this one, and this guy doing us from PAC is one of the best buffing. He's right now doing the wet sand. I mean, not the dry sand to the buff to the buffing of the car right now. This is a white body 335 custom made. It's what? It's a 335 uh, BMW custom made white body. And you make this? Yes, we made a fender. It has some uh, carbon fiber accents on it. It's white, about four panels. We claim four inner panels as well. Custom trunk deck. I love, I love that. I love that. Nice like a swept nice, look. A real nice look for that. Beautiful. Rear bumper also. With the indentation here for a little hair, I'm going to show you the pieces. Don't for that. This is such a full 3D design and 3D printed uh, part. So these piece actually is not on the rear bumper in this The gray, you know, like a little line for the for the big wheel on that. Right. That's the bumper also fully customized, fully built, carbon fiber accents, you know, design. This car is going to be very nice. But right now he's doing the buffing. We want to do the buffing while it's still apart. Right. And then once all the buffing is done, then we'll go ahead and pull the game. The fire, Kevin Farber, look again, huh? Fire level. All the being designed and built. So this is the first uh, for the, what, is this an M3 or something? Or? It's a 335. Uh, I am the one that comes to uh, uh, twin turbo. But this guy already so much with his motor, he upgraded uh, the exhaust. He has the ISS custom made wheel for this. So, now this body kit, will it only fit on this particular body or is it for other BMW? And it will certain fit years? only for the E90s. The e for, for the E90s from the year, I think it is from 2007 to 2011. Right now this is just a prototype part, but uh, if people like it and if we have some acceptance on the kit, then we can probably manufacture more for, you know, for other guys to build their own as well. Pretty much everything is going to be bolted on. Except for the quarter panel accent that it has to be, you know, like installed by, by a body shop or by us again. But we can sell. But well, let's see how people like it. If we have people that they want the same kit, we can manufacture you know, sets. This one pretty much is the, uh, the prototype, the first one. How many uh, months or years went into the? building of this? Well, this car took like around two months to build. You know, it took like another two weeks to You know, uh, a car with a, with a body of this type, it takes a lot of time to prep, you know, to make, to make everything look flat and nice. So we're talking about, because this one is the first one and took a long time because we had to build, we had to custom build all the parts. How do you how do you build those parts? By the way, is there a uh, first first we we'll start with a sketch. You know, I start with a sketch. I sketch whatever like concept the the, the owner likes or what he what he wants. You know. They mostly don't exactly know what is it. But once I talk to them and I want and and I and I know what they want to show. You know, most people want to show uh, uh, being aggressiveness. People want to be 
double or the classic. So depending on what they want is when we start doing the, the sketching and then when the sketch is going, is going and, the, uh, and the customer like it, and then we start building parts. Uh, right now we're building it, we build this one with templates, but uh, the next car we're working on right now, is all the parts gonna be built uh, with a CNC machine and three different areas. Mm -hmm. so basically this one is the last one that we did an old school. When you say old school templates, what does that mean? Uh, it's like, for example, if I have a sketch that I did, a drawing, then I'll start getting stuff like this. Stuff like this one, and then we start constructing the base of it to be with our shape. So it's pretty much what, uh, what, how we start. I get the blocks, I will start with by the end, and then, and then we do it. And then, so you and carve that with and a then we certain tool and get it. smooth it out and sand and it? And we get it to the position. Okay. Okay. Two parts of this piece to build a tunnel for an NSX that I'm working in the auto shop. Oh, a tunnel? Uh, like an air tunnel for, for the rear of an uh, NSX that we're working on the auto shop. So mm -hmm. that's how we start. We start with a drawing. As I said, this is a school way. Now everything is being done by 3D, you know, at, um, with a 3D software. And then we use, we're gonna be using the CNC machine to, to carve these pieces, these blocks, right. into the parts that we want, and they're gonna be more accurate and faster. And then what, do you make a mold from this, or? We can make a prototype to make a mold, or we can actually make a mold of this. Uh, if the part is not like that, complex, then we can, make, we can carve a mold for one-time use, you know, so we can create a quick part. Oh, okay. But if the part is kind of complex, then imagine this, like, this thick, so the machine will create an actual positive piece that we may have to refinish to create a perfect mold for replications. You know? uh -huh. So you can do a prototype, or you can do a quick mold for one-time use. You know, it all depends. So that's how we're gonna start with it. See this piece? This fan right here is fully 3D printed on plastic and PLA. And then we cover it with a layer of carbon fiber. This bottom piece right here, we 3D printed the mold to create this fiberglass piece because we needed something solid for the bottom. Right. So this piece is a, is a fiberglass part made of a 3D printed mold. Gotcha. This is a full 3D printed piece. PLA plastic. So you know they bond together, now screws off, little bodywork, paint it, clear coat it, and that's what it's going. So this is this is actually one of the first pieces we we're manufacturing out of uh, using 3D software okay. to, to build our parts. What other uh, kits or body kits have you done for what cars? Uh, so far, I mean, I've done an M4 white body, which is a, I don't know if you saw it on Instagram. It's a white body M4. Uh, First started doing all in clay. The, the full white body was first sketched and then designed, and then everything was done in clay. And then uh, uh, I built all the parts out of fiberglass, and then we did stuff, carbon fiber, and everything. I'll I'll show you about pictures and videos. What are you? What else are you working and, on? Uh, that was a first and fourth, and then a white body Mercedes. We did another white body in '92. Very much people uh, look for me for when it when it comes to white bodies. You know, I mean, I'm not gonna say that I'm very good at it, but uh, I've done a lot of work, so I know exactly how wide the cars can be. I know exactly about in the inner structure of the car, how wide the wheels have to go in front so they can be able to turn. And uh, mostly, it besides the custom stuff, I've done a lot of white bodies. Right now, currently working in a white body Gallardo. We're currently working on a wide body NSX Type R Japanese spec. And we also come in, uh, have come in a uh, Huracan. And we have uh, a conversation with another customer. He wants to bring one of his Aventador to another wide body. That's yeah. pretty much how we all work. Is any Porsches or? Yeah, we have also Porsches coming. There's, there's this guy, uh, he wants to do. Uh, some sort of like a uh, or whatever, 
thing, but he, he wants me to do like a different one, you know, so he wants to do something different to a horse. Um, also, we have uh, old, old school Mercedes Benz, since people, they want to turn into the DTM Mercedes. We have like three of them that they also want to do like this crazy white body stuff. So yeah, we, we look pretty, pretty busy this year. Hopefully the machine, the CNC will start working like maybe the next month. So we can start spending parts. What do these kits cost in general for these type of cars? I mean, well now when we're using the, the 3D softwares and CNC's and 3D printers to create the parts, uh, the cost doesn't like decrease, but when it decreases a lot of the time. Timing is what we gain with. Before this project will probably take three or four months, maybe five if you're gonna think. But now with this process, well we can do done with, we can do it in a month, done in one week. So you actually build the cars, exactly. install it, the whole exactly. nine yards. So what 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 for instance is this BMW gonna run the owner to, to have all this work done? Yeah, this, this for example uh, this the owner of this car, he's gonna have this car to take it to show, he's gonna take it to meet and stuff like that, and he should get to show the car. And then the purpose of it is to see people like the design, how uh, um, how they accept the fact of this in in nineties can be like you know like also work and, and redesign. And if people like it, if uh, we have like two two different people that they say hey, we would like to have this kit also, then it means that. Uh, you know the purpose of it was was good. Uh, was so you happy. don't you don't have a price in mind as far as what they sell, uh, what they're gonna sell for. If or? somebody wants something like this again, uh, like as right now, I don't have a price because uh, uh, of course whatever so project car, a lot right? more. yeah. But like going forward, if you had to reproduce this, exactly, we probably I mean roughly we're talking about a body kit like this, which will include trunk, quarter panel, door. Uh, Door pieces, side skirts, front bumper, fender. We're talking about something like around seven thousand know. dollars. What about the hood? You the didn't hood, change the hood on this. The hood wouldn't do anything in the hood. The hood here. We tried not doing anything. So yes, it's pretty good looking hood. Uh, most people thought like, you should do a fan or something, but since the car has already a lot of modification, we don't want to you know, overkill like, it. Make it too loaded. Yeah. yeah. So once the car is ready, done and everything, so we will decide if it would really need something. You know, right now it's hard to tell. But we added a lot of stuff to it. So that's why we don't we didn't touch it. We wanted to have at least leave something of the car like OEM. Main, if we install the hood and we decide that you need something in there, we'll do it. But so far, we're happy you know, with, with what we created. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Uh, you see this fender for like really, really, really wide. And the design of the inner parts of it is like really also. See how the wheel turns. It's like really, really like tight. Wow. You're not kidding. See that? Yeah. And everything has to be designed and made so that, the, of course, this car has like a really stiff suspension. Right. But when I was doing the test, uh, the test driving of this, we could be clear, we don't drop it. Even the hard, hard turns in it. But you can see, there's, there's so much space. But we could. Show me again. What? Yeah, so when it comes to the, to the wide body, it's the quarter panel area is that's the like, green trait part. Because it has to, it, it, it requires somebody with experience and knowledge how, how to install this piece to the actual car. This is part of the car. This is the kit. But the, the, the way that you install it, you have to use the right materials. Uh, you gotta pick the right area where you're gonna do the, the, the bonding, you know, so it's not gonna crack or it's gonna do anything. It will look just like the body of the car. It actually has a natural curve to yes. it here, huh? It's so like you so took we, advantage of that and we made took a, advantage of it to create. That's, that's so nice, man. That's really cool. Where it's gonna go. It looks like it was factory, you know, yeah. like that. So that is uh, the up same thing also with a with a door, the door piece, you know, this this piece. Oh yeah, it matches up. Yeah, it matches up with a with a with a, with a kit. So. Beautiful.
So pretty much that's what, that's what we do. That's what we do. Make beautiful cars even more beautiful. Yeah, that's for sure. So then I'll, I'll tell you to come over when this car is completed so you can come over and check it out with everything on and all the parts all buffed out and nice. When do you think that'll be? Uh, we'll probably like maybe two more days. A few more days? Two all more right, days. I'll definitely we'll take you up days. on that. I'd yeah. like to see the finished product. I'm sure everyone yeah. else would. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the owner is super, super, super happy with it. We can't wait to talk about it. I bet. Um, and yeah, let's see. I'll let you know. All right, thanks. My name's Ronald. Yes, I'm Ronald. So if anyone's interested in a out of this world body kit for their BMW, Mercedes, Lambo, or Porsche. Yes, you just, you just give me a call, send me a, a text me or send me an email, and I'll just tell me what is what you want to do. I've got I've there. got this RX-8 project kit I'm working on. I told you about it. Yeah. Well, take a look at this RX-8 out here. Tell me what you think. I, I'll tell you what I'd like to see right. as far as a body kit done for this. And you tell me what you think. <laughs> the only uh, change to the body on this is that little the lip, the lip spoiler, which I kind of like, kind of aggressive, but it's pretty low and it bottoms out, you know, when you go over bumps and things like that. Yeah. You can see it's starting to break there yeah. and hitting speed bumps or what do you call it? Uh, parking bumps, yeah. stops. Yeah, it's pretty low, but anyway... Um, There's a lot of body kits for this car already out there, but I don't really like them too much. I mean, they're overly aggressive looking in terms of, you know, some of the features on them. I kind of like something yeah, we can, low key, we, we can know, do, we can but design. functional too, that, that actually has a, you know... We can design something, we can sit down at a design table and design something, do some sketches, you know, create something nice, subtle, nothing that aggressive, but at the same time sporty, you know, because uh, when you want to do a change in a car like that, you must sure want to make it look like it is something, right? Most people want to do modification, but they want to be subtle. Some people like more aggressive. Me, personally, if I want to do something in a car, I like people to see the difference, like at the first, at the first glance. You know? Right. Most people like subtle stuff, which I like to. Do some some cars deserve a little bit of aggressivity without being too much. But um, could you do a uh, a rear spoiler like you did on that BMW that just yeah, sweeps up part of the rear trunk? Yeah. We can do it even if you want to just uh, double-sided taper or bolt it, or we can mold it into the just like the. Like the being over you, we, we can do whatever. And this car, as you can see, has a nice space for a nice diffuser. Yeah, it needs most one. cars. Most cars don't have that, you know. They they these people. Uh, actually, when this car came out, I really liked it. You know, they they changed a lot the the way the RX sevens are. So the body was got super nice. So the, the the fact that you have a nice space for it to do a massive and nice diffuser, you know. That's very functional too, right? As it far is. as ground effects. Right now, that one is not because you see that area where the where that look like grill is is completely closed, so there's no air going through. Right. So you pr pretty much you're scooping the air back. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> so I've seen some people do that where they route out that plastic and yeah, put actual and mesh in there, so they actually so get some yeah, so airflow some, through some it. Air, some air going. But right now, what you just, just we're just scooping the air. Probably that's why it's, it's falling apart because the. I'm well, it's, it's falling apart from the from the flames that come out the exhaust. Yeah, also I can see that. It's been, running, that. It's it's been nice. running too rich lately. I have to change the solenoids for the uh, three stage intake because I don't think two or one or two of them are working properly. So I'm not getting the airflow at the higher RPM. So it's yes. constantly backfiring and you know running very rich. But uh, yeah, definitely. Um, is you got a nice room there for a nice diffuser, you know? and then if you want to do something wider, you want wider wheels. Yeah, definitely you know. do the do a wide fender kit in the back. Would you do something in the front as well if you do the back, or you just of course, do the back of course, alone? Or? Of course, we, if we do something in this car, we gotta, we gotta go all the way, man. I mean, you gotta you know, do the side skirts too? Uh, exactly. I don't, when I'm working in a car, I prefer when customer comes to me, Ronald, you know, whatever you think it is, I like this, I would like to show this. Um, this is what I want people to feel when they see me. So I need to hear that for me to create something to start a design, you know? Yeah. Most people like 
people are different when it comes to it. You know, it's nothing like somebody that like like a like a standard thing. Yeah. Most people then when they want to do something custom and something that has to be designed from from scratch, that's what I ask. What is it you want to create? What kind of attention you want to take? You know, it's a, it's, it's, it's a lot of questions that them help me when I do the design for the car. Right. Well, with this one, the, the project car, I'll, I'll, I'll show you in our shop over here the way we've set it up because the radiator is now directly yes. in front, so it needs a bigger opening for the radiator. We're using the stock front bumper setup to duct air to different you know, uh, locations in the car. For instance, the lower part there, there's a ram air, at yeah. least three quarters of it, to an intercooler that's inside the engine bay. Okay. okay, and then the, the radiator is at the very front of the car, so the heat from the radiator doesn't go into the intercooler, it goes over the top of it. We have a vented hood, I've already, um, you know, aftermarket um, carbon fiber one that I got, painted it actually silver for the, for the project car, but it, it vents all that heat out that, that, you know, comes off the radiator and the intercooler. And then we have the air conditioning condenser, instead of behind the radiator, yeah. flat on the bottom, like in a tray. Yeah with two fans blowing down on it. So the air conditioner has its own cooling system. And then on this corner here where the air comes in, that's where the cold air intake is for the turbo. Yeah. I so, I mean, it's really Great. well designed Great. and it would have to be functional around all those. What we can do to start after we finish our first sketch or what, what is it going to do? Well, we need to 3D scan the entire car. We need to 3D scan the car with the bumper, then remove the bumper and have uh, my guys of the, uh, the 3D solutions to 3D scan the entire area with where the motor goes and everything, with the uh, radiators and everything. So when we put the bumper back on the 3D model, then we can design and, and channel all the air to the right position, especially when we want it, you know, mm -hmm. and that will be uh, very accurate. Yeah. I mean, we, when we built this kit originally, we were trying to keep the cost down, make it practical for most people. Yeah. But as the years went by and we kept, you know, working on it and thinking about it and developing it, we kind of went all out, you know. We figured if we're going to do it, we're going to do it right once. Yeah, and yeah, then, once, you know, people once can... A, once the design is done, once the pieces are done, molds are done, then people will still you know, um, be able to buy these pieces, you know. If you're gonna, if, of course, if you want to do carbon fiber full kit, it will be something kind of expensive. But uh, if you really want to manufacture and resell the kits, after they're done, you know, I don't think it should be anything that expensive. You know, if it's for right, not for like a car like this. I exactly. Mean, that's you know, and the good thing about it now is more affordable, I think, and people oh, yeah. spend I mean, more you, money on it. You, you know? can pick these up with blown engines all day long for 1500 2500 yeah. you know, with perfect interiors and, you know. Which you is know. good because people can invest more money on them. Yeah, it's a great platform to build off of, yeah. you know, so if you're going to do it, you know, by the time you're done, you probably will have spent what this car costs exactly. new. But you are going to have a balls to the wall, 500 to 800 exactly. horsepower exactly. turbocharged exactly. monster that, you know, people are going to just <laughs> exactly. be blown well, away by it. Just, whenever you, whenever you're ready, whenever you want it, like we can see now. We can start doing some sketches and see what we came out with. You know. Yeah. Well, thanks for giving us the tour of your project Thank and you info, Ronnie. Thank you very much. Man. Thank you. I'm gonna throw this up on YouTube. All right, cool.